unit, students need to know five different American Indian tribes. The big idea is that each tribe has to use their environment to get clothing, food, and shelter. Uh, so the tribes are spread over the continent, and each tribe has to de deal with different conditions and adapt to different um, uh, conditions. Um, so the Inuit are actually way up in Alaska and northern Canada, and they're dealing with freezing temperatures up there in the tundra. Um, for clothing, they're doing seal skin, they hunt walrus, polar bear, seals, birds, caribou, um, things like that for food. And their shell main shelter is their um, igloos, which are made out of uh, ice because that's the resource they have for shelter. Um, the Kwak Yudal are here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we talked about big figure walking through the forest, eating little Kwak Yudal Indian. <laughs> um, the Kwak Yudal, they actually have a great situation because they live on the rocky beaches in the Northwest. So they have a beautiful ocean on one side and on the other side the giant forests where they believe big figure is stalking clock utils. Um, but they uh, make totem poles, but they have their shelters are called plank houses, which are made out of uh, lumber from trees from the forest. Um, they actually make tree bark clothes that are waterproof, we learned about. And they also of course use animal skin because um, they have animals in the forest like bear and deer that they hunt. Um, so their conditions are very different than the Inuit who are in the freezing temperatures, but their big thing is they have to deal with rain all year round. The Pueblo are here in the southwest, and um, they are known as cliff dwellers because they built their adobe um, shelters up against cliffs, and those uh, shelters are made out of adobe, the clay, and the rooms are stacked on top of each other, and they have ladders to get to each room. But they're dealing with really hot temperatures, uh, but actually they have very advanced irrigation systems which they use to grow crops. And uh, so their main food source is actually farming, corn, bean, squash, the three sisters. Um, and they actually wear um, cotton clothes. Uh, the Lakota is a favorite of a lot of kids because everything is buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. They're nomadic, so they follow the herd. Uh, their homes are called teepees, made out of buffalo skin, and they're portable just like uh, DS or PSP. <laughs> uh, and so anyway, they, um, when, if, the whole, if the herd moves, then the whole tribe follows them. Uh, but they eat the buffalo meat, they wear the buffalo clothes, they make their homes or shelters out of buffalo. And on the Great Plains, it's very, um, it's the, that's where the land increases westwards. But um, in the Great Plains, they, um, it's pretty flat, so the, but it's perfect for the buffalo herds um, eating the grass. Um, over here, we have our last tribe is the Iroquois, and the girls really like this one because in the Iroquois society, women are very powerful, and if you get married, you move to your wife's home, uh, not your husband's, because the men don't own any homes, and even the lineage is traced through the female side, and uh, women get to pick the chiefs, and so they pick people who they can um, do things, do, will do what they want, um, and so women are very powerful in the society. But the Iroquois is actually a large, large nation made up of six large nations, the Iroquois nation, which are made up of dozens of smaller tribes, and um, the men do the hunting, the women do the farming, uh, and they wear deerskin clothes because they have the eastern woodlands here where they do all their hunting, um, and so I got clothing, uh, shelter. Oh, in the shelter, they live in long houses, which are half the size of a football field. They're wooden buildings, and you can have your extended family in there. Um, and that is the American Indians. <laughs> Cut it. Come on, teacher. My mnemonic for the American Indian tribes is I no penguins lick icicles. So you take the first letter of each tribe, you start with the Inuit, you work your way down, and then east across the country. So I, Inuit, no Quakutal, penguins, Pueblo, lick Lakota, that doesn't sound um, and I, um, icicles for Iroquois. Hurry now and get your buddies. It's time for fun with social studies. We're going to learn some history.